The AC method is a technique used to minimize the trial and error involved in factoring a trinomial of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. The template for the AC method is that out front we put 1 divided by the leading coefficient. Inside, we again take the leading coefficient of a, we place an ax here, and an ax there. Then the last step is to fill in these two blanks. The numbers that go here should have a product of the leading coefficient of a times the constant c. These two numbers should also have a sum of the coefficient of x, which is b. So in using the AC method to factor a quadratic, we're looking for numbers that satisfy this. The product is a times c, and the sum is the middle coefficient, b. Let's use this technique to factor the trinomial 4x squared plus 16x plus 15. Using the template above, we start with putting 1 over a out front. So in our case, a is equal to 4. So we have 1 fourth. We have our two sets of parentheses. The first slot, we again take a, which is 4, times x. Same thing will always go here. Now to fill in these two slots, we need two numbers whose product is equal to a, which is 4, times c, which is 15. And that's equal to 60. We want the sum of these two numbers be equal to the middle coefficient, the coefficient of x, which is 16, positive 16. So now our search is to find two numbers whose product is, six, whose product is 60 and whose sum is 16. Those two numbers are 10 and 6. So we take one of them, put it in the first slot, we take the other one, put it in the second slot. So that takes care of the trial and error portion. Now we need to complete the factoring. So within each set of parentheses, the numbers should not have a factor in common. In the first set of parentheses, the 4 and the 10 do have a factor of 2 in common. So within this first set, we want to factor out a 2. So we still have our 1 fourth, and now we're going to multiply it by the 2 that we're going to take out of here. So if we factor a 2 out of 4x, we're left with 2x. If we factor a 2 out of 10, we're left with 5. Now we can multiply the 1 fourth times the 2, so 1 fourth times 2 is really times 2 over 1, and that's equal to 2 divided by 4, or 1 half. Now we need to move on to the second set of parentheses, which has 4x plus 6. Again, there is a factor of 2 in common to both 4 and 6, so now we want to take factor of 2 out of the second set of parentheses. So we keep our 1 half, and now we're going to multiply that by the 2 that's coming out of here. We still keep the 2x plus 5.
Now what we put in here is what we're left with after factoring a 2 out of 4x plus 6. So again, if we factor a 2 out of 4x, we're left with 2x. If we factor a 2 out of 6, we're left with 3. The final step is to multiply 1 half times 2. So 1 half times 2 over 1 is 2 divided by 2, or just 1. So this is equal to 1 times 2x plus 5 times 2x plus 3. Or simply, we don't want to have times 1 out in front. We want to write our final answer as 2x plus 5 times 2x plus 3. So, the factored form of 4x squared plus 16x plus 15 is 2x plus 5 times 2x plus 3.